So if you edit videos on a regular basis, you'll know just how time consuming it can be. And often it's not even the color grading or the special effects that takes the most time. It's just cutting up the raw footage and getting rid of the bad takes, the empty spaces and having to listen through the entire video. This is particularly true with talking head videos just like this. But around six months ago, I actually found an app that makes this so much easier and has literally saved me hours of time. And that's been for both cutting up content for this YouTube channel, as well as cutting up videos for clients with my freelance work. And that app is called ReCut. If you're new here, my name is Nick, and here we talk about using tech to improve your life. I try to put out videos every Friday, so be sure to subscribe for more content. So like I said, one of the most time consuming parts of video editing can be just going through and cutting out the bad takes, as well as cutting out those empty spaces or the ums and ahs in your video. So this is where ReCut comes in really handy. Just a quick disclaimer, it is a Mac only app. It doesn't work on Windows PCs, unfortunately. Yet, I hope there's, there's a Windows version coming, but as of now, it's just for Mac. But we'll jump onto my MacBook and I'll show you how you can use it. All right, so here we are on my MacBook and I've got ReCut open. And I'm gonna be super meta and use the video that you just watched of me talking as the example footage. So all you have to do is get your footage, your raw footage, and drag it straight into ReCut. Then it'll just analyze it immediately, and all the red is where there's silent parts, which is gonna cut out, and then the blue parts are the parts where there's audio and talking, which it will leave in automatically. Now there's a whole bunch of settings here that you can adjust. Generally, I find leaving them on default, it's, it's actually pretty good. So the threshold is basically the level at which audio is considered silent. So um, I leave it on auto and as you can see, it does a pretty good job of figuring out what's silent and what's not. You can play with that if you want, um, but I just leave it on auto. Then you've got minimum duration. So if there's a silence that lasts longer than for me, I leave it at 0.3 seconds, it'll cut that out. So I find 0.3 seconds is usually pretty good for me. It might depend a bit on your video and how fast you talk or whatever, whatever type of footage that you're cutting out. Um, padding is another important one. So particularly for talking head footage on YouTube, when you're doing things like jump cuts and cutting out that silence between each shot, this will affect how much silence there is between each cut basically. And again, play with it to see what works for you. But I find half a second works well for me. It feels fairly natural uh, based on how fast I speak. And then you can also remove any weird audio blips that are shorter than 0.2 seconds. So I just leave that on, it's fine. And then you can see this preview without silence, which just enables you to play it directly within ReCut. All right, testing, is that too loud? No. So if you edit videos. And as you can see, it's previewing my video with all the silent parts cut out. And that saves me heaps of time. And the cool thing is also within ReCut, you can actually select which parts you want to keep. So you just click on the parts that you want to keep or get rid of. So for example, if I wanted to get rid of all this section here, just click it and then hit delete or backspace and that'll get rid of it. Once you're happy with it, go to export up here and then you can either export the whole video as a new file, which I generally don't do because I prefer to have all the cuts in my final cut timeline so I can adjust accordingly. Um, in which case, you just go down to export timeline only and then you select your editing software. So you can, it supports Final Cut, Adobe Premiere, uh, and DaVinci Resolve, as well as ScreenFlow. Um, but I do Final Cut, so just go Final Cut, remove the silent clips, export, and then we'll go to a ReCut folder, and then I just rename it, ReCut, save, export complete, and you're ready to go. So now all you have to do is don't save that, open up Final Cut or whatever program you're using, and then within Final Cut, all you're gonna have to do is, once you've opened up your library, go to Import XML. Then you'll see you've got your ReCut file, which is FCP, so Final Cut Pro XML. Import, and there you have it. Double click it and you can see you've got your footage all cut up and ready to go. So then it's just a matter of going through, cutting out any extra bits that I don't want, and that's it. And that saves me so much time having to go through it all manually and take out all those silent parts. 
one by one. So that is ReCut. I highly recommend it. It's an amazing app. If you want to buy it, go to the link in the description, which is getrecut.com forward slash Nick Kendall. And if you follow that link, you'll get $10 off the full price. It is an affiliate link, so I'll get a commission if you use the link, but I actually purchased the app originally full price with my own cash. And even if it wasn't for the link, I would still recommend it because it's honestly a really great app. If you're interested in more productive tech, be sure to check out my productive tech playlist. And other than that, I will see you very soon in the next video.